question, which is true about viruses? Option 1, each virus is transmitted through the air. Option 2, each virus is transmitted through poor sanitation. Option 3, each virus has its own seasonal activity. Viruses increase the survival of other organisms. Option 4, each virus has its own shape and structure. Question, which leads to the conclusion that strep throat is a bacterial infection. Option 1, a strep infection will go away without being treated. Option 2, a person who has strep throat can never have it again. Option 3, strep throat is treated with antibiotics. Option 4, strep throat is treated with vaccines. Question, which best explains why antibiotics are ineffective in treating viral infections? Option 1, viruses destroy the antibiotic. Option 2, viruses escape antibiotics by hiding in cells. Option 3, antibiotics increase the rate of viral growth. Option 4, antibiotics only kill living cells. What is most unique about E. coli? Option 1, it is harmless in animals' intestines, but if ingested may cause illness. Option 2, it is a bacteria that has caused outbreaks through contaminated food. Option 3, it is a bacteria that causes illness in humans. way for a person to prevent microbial infections. Option 1, avoid contact with animals. Option 2, sterilize everything in the home. Option 3, isolate themselves at home. Option 4, wash hands frequently with hot water and soap. Humans with HIV can transmit the HIV virus to other humans even though they do not show the symptoms of the disease. Which term best describes the unaffected individual? Option 1, contagion. Option 2, vector. Option 3, carrier. Option 4, mutagen. Question, how can a single bacterium grow and reproduce exponentially? Option 1, it reproduces asexually. Option 2, it reproduces sexually. Option 3, it reproduces through spores. Option 4, it reproduces using a host cell. Question, which is true regarding bacterial and viral infections? Option 1, viral infections are treated with antibiotics, while bacterial infections are treated with vaccines. Option 2, viral infections are treated with vaccines, while bacterial infections are prevented through use of antibiotics. 
Option 3, both viral infections and bacterial infections are treated with vaccines. Option 4, bacterial infections are treated with antibiotics, while viral infections can be prevented through use of vaccines. Question, which characteristic makes bacteria suitable for scientific research of disease? Option 1, they are multicellular. Option 2, they reproduce rapidly. Option 3, they keep virus populations under control. Option 4, they grow in four stages allowing growth control. Question, which would most likely contribute to antimicrobial resistance? Option 1, providing more education and training for medical. Option 2, creation of new varieties of vaccinations and medicines. Option 3, overcrowding and poor sanitation in urban areas. Option 4, an increased number of healthcare facilities. Question, which is the best method for preventing a parasitic disease? Option 1, limiting physical contact with others. Option 2, vaccination. Option 3, avoiding contaminated food and water. Option 4, wearing a mask. Question, how do viruses cause disease? Option 1, by damaging or killing cells. Option 2, by producing excess waste. Option 3, by secreting toxins. Option 4, by competing with healthy cells for nutrients. Question, how does the reproductive potential of bacteria affect illnesses caused by bacteria? Option 1, short generation time results in many bacteria. Option 2, short generation time results in only a few bacteria. Option 3, long generation time results in many bacteria. Option 4, long generation time results in only a few bacteria. Question, which helps humans to resist an infectious disease? Option 1, immunity. Option 2, heredity. Option 3, pathogens. Option 4, vectors. Question, which best compares a virus to a bacterium? Option 1, a virus is a tiny, non-living particle, and a bacterium is a large, living cell. Option 2, a virus is a large, living particle, and a bacterium is a large, living cell.
question, which best explains how a virus affects other organisms? Option 1. Viruses live and reproduce in between the cells of other organisms. Option 2. Viruses invade the cells of other organisms, using them to reproduce. Option 3. Viruses immediately destroy all cells they come in contact with. Option 4. Viruses increase the survival of other organisms. Question, the Anopheles mosquito transmits the parasite Plasmodium to humans. Plasmodium causes malaria. In this situation, which is the vector of the disease? Option 1, human. Option 2, malaria. Option 3, Anopheles mosquito. Option 4, Plasmodium. Question, which is the most likely reason for a decline in antibiotic use? Option 1, most health insurance does not cover treatment with antibiotics. Option 2, companies find antibiotics too expensive to produce. Option 3, antibiotics have severe health side effects. Option 4, bacterial infections have become resistant to present antibiotic treatment. Question, which best explains why more than 300 million people in Asia are infected with malaria each year? Option 1, there is no way to protect people against the disease. Option 2, the parasites that cause malaria lack the ability to resist antibiotics. Option 3, mosquitoes are becoming resistant to insecticides and continue to carry the disease. Option 4, the housefly contaminates food with infectious bacteria that cause malaria. Question, which explains why a fungus attaches to a host? Option 1, the fungus injects the host with a toxin when it attaches. Option 2, the fungus provides hydration to the host. Option 3, the fungus acquires nutrients from the host. Option 4, the fungus cannot survive without another living organism. Question, why can a person catch a cold many times? Option 1, people do not develop an immunity to viruses and can be infected by the same virus again and again. Option 2, there are many kinds of viruses that cause colds and the person may be infected by different viruses each time. Option 3, changes in weather conditions can cause a person to get a cold. Question, an amoeba frequently causes an infection in hikers who drink untreated water. Which precaution should hikers take while hiking? Option 1, filter or boil the water before drinking. Option 2, taste test the water before drinking. Option 3, check the color of the water before drinking. Option 4, check the pH of the water before drinking. <laughs> 